NMN and NR are the two best NAD Plus precursors on the market, and they're also currently two of the hottest anti-aging supplements available. So what's the difference between them, and which one is best? Well, I'll be answering those questions in just a minute, but first, let's take a closer look at what these two supplements actually are. Both NMN and NR are derivatives of nicotinamide, commonly known as vitamin B3. NMN is simply an abbreviation for nicotinamide mononucleotide, and NR an abbreviation for nicotinamide riboside. Both are classified as NAD precursors, which refers to the fact that after ingestion, they're converted into NAD+, which is an abbreviation for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD+, is a very important molecule. It's naturally produced by the body, and it's responsible for countless effects in our cells, including enabling the proper functioning of our sirtuins. Not only is NAD required for energy production in every tissue, it also protects and repairs our DNA and regulates the epigenome, so it's obviously vital to maintaining good health. Unfortunately, however, the older we get, the more our cellular NAD levels decline, which is most definitely not a good thing, since low levels of NAD are associated with multiple problematic health issues. If health and longevity are important to you, then the importance of either NMN or NR supplementation should not be underestimated or ignored. And it's for very good reason that NAD plus precursors are used by most of the world's top longevity experts. So next, let's take a look at how these two supplements function in the body. There are three ways that we can increase our body's NAD plus levels, and those include exercise, nutrition, and NAD booster supplements. Now it goes without saying that we should already be including the first two as essential components of a healthy lifestyle. But even so, there will come a point with advancing age where exercise and diet alone will not be sufficient to maintain the necessary NAD levels required to maintain optimal health and to slow aging. And that's the point at which NAD plus precursors can become our savior. When taken in supplement form, both NMN and NR basically do the same thing. And that is that they function to increase levels of NAD plus in the body. When we ingest NMN or NR, they're converted into NAD plus through the NAD pathway. However, there's one major difference between these two supplements. And that is that NR must first be phosphorylated to create NMN which then goes on to become NAD+. NMN is therefore one step further down the NAD pathway. So which one do I believe to be superior? Well first, let me just add that to date, there have been no studies that have directly pitted NR and NMN directly against each other. So I've simply taken a close look at the available relevant data and used this as the basis for my decision. And just in case you're wondering, why not just take an NAD plus supplement and avoid the conversion process? Well, unfortunately, the NAD plus molecule is just far too big to be absorbed by our cells when taken in supplement form. As I already mentioned, NMN has the advantage of being immediately available for conversion into NAD plus, whereas NR, which is basically just nicotinamide with a sugar added, is still lacking the phosphate. NMN is basically just NR, but with the phosphate, so essentially, NMN is everything it needs to begin the conversion into NAD+. With NR, on the other hand, the body still has to first scavenge the phosphate before it can convert into NMN. And where does it get the phosphate from? Well, typically from bones. However, there can potentially be issues scavenging sufficient phosphate, which may be why studies have found that NR doesn't raise blood levels of NAD+, as high as NMN does when using the equivalent dose. And in case you're wondering, Orally ingested NMN can easily double circulating NAD levels. Secondly, we have studies showing that NR doesn't appear to do nearly as well as NMN when it comes to increasing NAD plus levels in muscle and other important tissues. This may be why NR doesn't appear to provide the increase in endurance exercise performance that's generally experienced with NMN supplementation. Now I can personally testify to this and here's why. I've been using NMN daily for well over a year now However, one month ago, for the purposes of this presentation, I switched from NMN to NR, using exactly the same dosage. Within only two weeks, I noticed a distinct decline in my endurance performance in the gym, a clear sign that NAD Plus was not reaching my muscle tissue to the degree it had been with NMN use. I think it should be pretty obvious to all that we have a clear winner in NMN. So if you've been undecided to now as to which product to purchase, and hopefully this presentation has clarified things for you. But does that make NR a worthless supplement? 
Absolutely not. For a start, NR is considerably cheaper than NMN, around half the price in fact. And this is due to the fact that it's so much less costly to produce. So if you're on a tight budget, then NR would certainly be an option worth considering. In my very next video, due for upload soon, I'm going to do a full in-depth NMN supplement review, which will cover all the benefits, optimal dosages, potential side effects, and so much more. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please do so in order to receive upload notifications. Next, let's wrap things up by taking a look at some important NMN and NR buying advice. Now, although there are many brands offering NAD Plus precursor supplements, it can be somewhat of a minefield, with NMN and NR among the most faked products in the industry. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, these are not cheap supplements, so the frequency of scammers ripping off an unsuspecting public has, I'm afraid, been high. In fact, several products tested were found to contain no NMN whatsoever. So with that in mind, it's absolutely essential that the product you're purchasing has been third-party tested for quality and purity. If the brand in question is unable to provide a third-party test certificate relating to their latest batch, then simply walk away and look elsewhere. If you intend buying capsules as opposed to powder, then my advice is to only purchase a filler-free capsule product. This will limit your choice of brand somewhat, however, think of it like this. Do you really want to purchase such an expensive supplement from a company that can't even be bothered to refine their production process sufficiently to not require tainting their product with unnecessary fillers? Which, let's face it, provide absolutely no health benefit and may even be detrimental to health in some cases. Well, absolutely not in my book. I've noticed that some brands are advertising that NMN must be taken sublingually in order to absorb properly. Well, as several studies have confirmed, this is quite simply untrue. NMN is perfectly well absorbed when taken orally, and this has been repeatedly confirmed by none other than the leading authority on NMN, Dr. David Sinclair himself. There's absolutely no need to put powder products under your tongue, and whether you're ingesting NMN in capsule or powder form, it makes little difference, other than the fact that powder products generally work out cheaper per gram. I personally chose to buy my NMN from the brand Do Not Age. Now, for convenience sake, I use capsules, However, they do also sell pure powder, as well as capsule and powder versions of their NR. Pricing is extremely competitive and a third-party lab test certificate is displayed on their website. The company has very kindly provided viewers of this video with a 10% discount code and this will work for any of their products. Plus, further discounts are also available using the subscription service. Now look, I'm not suggesting this is the only brand worth purchasing, and so long as you follow the purchasing guidelines already mentioned, then there should be no issues with any brand that satisfies those requirements. Before wrapping up this presentation, I'm just going to mention two supplements that are considered essential additions if you want to maximize the benefits of NAD Plus precursors, and those are TMG and Apigenin. If you'd like to learn more about these two essential supplements, then please see my recent TMG and Apigenin videos. Many thanks for watching, and lastly, as always, take care, be healthy, and see you all again soon.